Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Also, Happy New Year everybody. I really hope that 2008 will be a glorious year for all of you. So um, yeah, I hope you, you left 2017 behind. And I have a feeling that 2017 was was really, really short. So, so much stuff that happened there. And uh, yeah, it was it was a blast for me. So anyway, let's talk about what we are doing today. Um, I thought about doing heavy machine guns again. And this time not in the Bushwhacker, but in the Roughneck. We are taking the Roughneck 1A here in the special variant. It just has a custom paint job and a 30% Siebel bonus. You can do it in the regular variant as well. And I call this one the Huggernaut because you want to hug the enemy to death. What is going on in this one here? We have uh, four heavy machine guns, we have uh, two MRM-30 as our main weapons and we got the glorious, glorious head flamer. Yes, a single head flamer. Since I'm close uh, with my machine guns anyway, I was thinking about, hey, why not take a flamer in the head instead of a laser because you can uh, possibly add some heat to the enemy's loadout and shut them down and it actually pr works pretty, pretty well. So a single flamer might not be super fast in overheating them, but they will panic. They will panic when they encounter a mech that is just running towards them, trying to hug them and give them a warm embrace. And, uh, you know, people start firing a... Uh, uncontrolled and they will overheat when you heat them up a little bit more. Anyway, uh, again, we have the Light Engine 280 for a little bit of survivability and speed. Again, the MRMs are good for early damage. You can shoot them at mid-range and when the time is right to go in and brawl them down, you just run forward, shoot everything and uh, it's a lot of fun to play. You will see that in the games. Um, the skill build looks uh, like this, almost because it is not yet finished. As you can see, we have 53 of 91 skill points and um, I would say my firepower tree is basically, basically finished here. Yeah. So what I went for is uh, all of the missile nodes. I got one magazine capacity and range, 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 because you wanna, you wanna be in the face of the enemy with your machine guns and the flamer as quickly as possible. Therefore, I skilled a little bit of range along the way here. I am uh, on my way of maxing out armor and uh, skeletal density because the roughneck has armor quirks and structure quirks which means we can make it really really beefy also you need a lot of survivability to actually uh, get super close and uh, be there for a long long time therefore full survivability here i skip ams overlord and you can skip one of the reinforced casing nodes here this is uh, not really needed so those three are skippable to max out everything else in terms of structure and armor and then afterwards, I would go for full speed tweak, actually, because, again, you want to be super close with that and you want to close the gap pretty quickly. Therefore, full speed tweak down below, we take anchor turn on top of it and, of course, the kinetic burst and heartbreak that goes along the way. No jump jets, no operations, but maybe 60% rated deprivation. That would be nice. I did not go for my consumable slot yet. I don't know why, but, uh, of course, the second consumable slot is very valuable. And then you have two points uh, left over. You could go for a seismic sensor, would make sense and then i don't know one point into maybe heat gen or maybe cooldown it depends on your play style but yeah that's the build everybody i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming if you have that don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield all right first game of the day we are playing the grim plexus we are playing conquest we want to go to theta and then we will see what's going on there so mostly the enemies the enemies are coming from here by the way they are going to the Golf 6, Hotel 6 spot, and I think it's um, it's a place where we, on, we want to be later, later. Uh, but in the, in the meantime, we, we just go to the center of the map, and then we see how the enemies approach, and um, we will have to figure out a plan to intercept them. I do not have long range, that is the problem here, so our MRMs are firing at 588 meters, which means that... I cannot do anything in the first phase of the game, so 588 is where our missiles just cut off and uh, they stop dealing damage there. Unlike laser weapons or ballistic weapons, they, they have a maximum range, which is mostly twice the optimal range, and um, then you can still deal damage. You're not dealing optimal damage anymore, but you still deal a little bit of damage. But yeah, that's not the case here. Let's see, so we got a Viper at Theta, which is getting destroyed by our Light Mag Wolf Pack there. Uh, heavy mediums, two, uh, four heavy mediums. It's an interesting build. I think I'm gonna try it at some point. So, and yeah, Golf 6 again is the place where the enemies are coming from or going to. They will end up being there. 
So I just set up here, I wait for my uh, big ones to come in, my assault max, he's a stalker. We've got the marauder, we've got the hunchback and the night shear. I think the marauder is the best battle buddy because usually those guys are getting to mid to close range as well. Oh, I like to see the rocks here, that's so cool. Nigerians are, Niger, Dryer, whatever, are mostly long range. So, yeah, as you can see, he's running large lasers. New target. So we take it slow. We, we chill a bit. We, we don't want to overextend. We don't want to go in like crazy with our medium range missile build here. And um, as a result, I just try to position myself in a way so that I can get into the fight when the fight starts. And uh, it seems that my team is going over there right now. So I shall follow up. I really like seeing a supernova boiler here. This one is so cool. I really like that mech. It's a very nice mixed ballistic missile or ballistic energy build or missile energy build. New target acquired. He's running uh, LRMs, I guess. Yeah, those are long range missiles, but he also has auto cannons. Does he? Oh, no, he actually does not. Uh, we got a UAV in Golf 8. Okay, the urban mech is in range. So we can start shooting him or the Marauder. And I choose the Marauder because he is the bigger target. It's easier to hit. Um, that's not good. Let's try to hit the Viper. Yeah, there was a shell directly to my torso. Or to my mech in general. Okay, let's push left side, guys. There's a Marauder down there. I'm gonna help you with that. Yo, guys. Left side. Golf 8. Come on. The team is not coming. The team is not coming. Okay, never mind. I took damage for nothing, which always feels bad. Okay, I'm going in on the Marauder now. He has LB10s, but I think we can manage to kill him. So, we engage the Flamer and, of course, the Machine Guns. Hello. How do you like it? It's not good? I, I, I know. It feels bad, man. Good. So this is the thing, you, you want to rush the enemy at some point. And uh, to do so, you need to get to close range. This urban mech is mine, I'm gonna kill it. So, going for the urby. You just deal with the front line. Hello urby. Ah, come on. There we go. This is so cool. <laughs> the head flamer coming in, doing some good work here. And the Thanatos is next. So we throw some missiles at him. Going for the Thanatos in the choke point. New target. Okay. Hello. <laughs> this is so good. I love it. I just burst him down like this. <laughs> That's so good. I love it. Okay, I need, I need, a, I need a break, guys. I, I need to uh, preserve some of my uh, armor here. Okay. Um, going in for the Mauler. Let's go, boys. Let's do it again. Hello, Mr. Mauler. Gah, 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 gah. He's open in the back. Uh, Flamer is too early, I know. Oh, Stalker. No. Okay, overheating, critting, and getting a kill. Easy peasy. <laughs> and you don't even have heat uh, issues on your own. This is so good. And again. The head Flamer. Okay, we do, we do this now. Wait, what? Was I still firing the flamer? I didn't mean to. But thank you for helping me out with the hunchback. Oh, the flamer. Mistakes were made. You have some missiles, man. Uh, guys, let's push the Warhammer on the other side. Let's do it. There's a UAV up above their base somewhere. All right, this Viper is a problem. Ammo, ammo at 0%. Okay, I'm down to a flame and machine gun. Let's see what we can do here. Hello, Viper. Let's go in. Let's go in. This guy is mo more mobile than me. He can just avoid me. Okay, let's go. Flamer and machine guns. Can we? Nope, not really. Um, going for the warmer, I guess. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. That feels bad, man. Feels so bad. Hello. Hello. No, <laughs> it wasn't enough. <laughs> Killed by major leg. All right. But yeah, we got four kills. We got uh, 915 damage. And um, I don't know. Uh, 
the enemy got all the caps, we got destroyed even. So it was not the best team cohesion here, but I had so much fun in this game that you will get it anyway. Okay, let's have a look at the end score. That was crazy! That was so good. We had uh, four healing blows, three solo kills, 915 damage, we got eight components destroyed. And yeah, that's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing Grimplexus, we are playing Skirmish, we are abandoning uh, Boar's Head, which is disconnected. Mm. It's unfortunate that we are missing 100 tons on the battlefield, but sometimes it's just how it is and we cannot do anything about it. Now, my, my thinking was, um, first of all, we are playing Skirmish. Which means that um, we could just stay with the Atlas and wait for him to reconnect. We do not have an objective other than killing the enemy. Could have worked out. My team decided to go to the front and kill everybody. Okay, that's fine. My second thought was, I could just stay near him because you see that people are disconnected on the leaderboard screen here. Which means that a sneaky light man could just run around all the way around the map and get that quick and easy kill. And again, this um, could have been... Oh, he is actually guarding him. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, it could have been could have been nice getting a kill on or the counter kill on that light mech then. But at the same time, again, my team just wants to fight. We want to have a good time on the front line. We want to challenge ourselves against those guys with ten mechs now instead of twelve, because one guy is uh, still babysitting the assault mech there. And uh, yeah, we just go to the front. We try to single out some targets and we want to destroy them. That's how we do it here, right? So it's a very nice one-on-one -on -one mech, one-on-one -on -one loadout. And if you can, you know, again, find separated targets, that's gonna be a quick kill. All right, guys, let's crash into Fox 7. Fox 7, guys, let's go. Let's go all together. Uh, LR yeah, those are missile boats. Let's push them. Easy kills. Easy peasy. I do not... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna go to the right side because uh, left side it was too hot for me alone. I'm still pushing, guys. Come on, follow up. Let's go and get the platform. Oh, okay. That was easy. <laughs> Let's go for the next one, the Roughneck Fox Trot. Uh, he has high mounts. I have high mounts as well. And I've got machine guns! Let's go. Don't block me, don't block me! I need to get closer. I need to get closer. I want to hit him with my machine guns. Come on. And the flamer. Here comes the head flamer. This one is mine! Oh, never mind. Come on! Where are you guys? Follow up! Uh, okay. One on one. That's not how you do it. Okay. We got we got some friends now. <laughs> the roughneck is stripped completely. Alright. Let's see if we can challenge this guy. He's a Daka build. Yeah, he's a... Oh, wait, no. I'm not entirely sure if he's a Ducker build. I mean, this guy is dead. Who duckered me here? Oh, Rotary Cyclops. Alright, let's go in again. I think we are safe now, since this guy is getting a lot of damage from my team. Flamer! Okay, we get behind him. Bam! I love that. It's so good. This is so good. I love this build. You can't just go in so recklessly. Okay, I was pretty happy that my team followed up here. That was so, so valuable. It was so good of them. So thank you, everybody, for helping me out like that. Um, that's not good. Okay, uh, I need somebody to engage first before I can, can go in. And uh, my team is going. All right, let's move then. Let's move. Um, I'm up, I'm up. Give me that. Alright, somebody else got the kill, but that's fine. We still got a Timberwolf on top. Timberwolf in Fox 8, I guess. Um, where is he? Or is he down? Hotel. There he is. Fox 8. Okay, we got one more Timberwolf, and then we see what's uh, left on the battlefield. Ah, oh, feels so good, man. I love this. I love this so much. Again, this is... Uh, uh, no, this one. Nah, he shut down. Bam! Um, what you see here... 
is not how it usually works. I had some I had some games where the team did not follow up and I, then I ended up on the front line. Guys, don't get me wrong. This is a, a display of how the build works when you have some teammates that are actually active and that are pushing with you. If you have um, more or less um, a long range team, uh, lots of missiles on the board, lots of laser vomit on the board, they usually don't do that. They'd like to peek. They do not want to expose themselves. That's a completely different playstyle. But with this, this team in my back here, holy hell, that was so good good that was so fun to play you could just go in like that and draw the enemies down now the, the thing is we still have three enemies around and we need to find them right so let's see if we if we find them actually um our disconnect seems to be dead yeah they they snatched the kill and this is what i think this is what i think that happened here again some mediums or lights getting around our front line getting the Easy kill on the disconnect, and uh, hopefully are still sitting hey, somewhere around here. You shut down, kill him. Wait, who? Where? Ah! Oh, he's dead. Okay, we got two more enemies. You know where they are? Uh, okay. Oh! Go four, go five, hotel four. Laser beams. Oh no, this is our Atlas. He came back. He didn't die. Yeah, hotel That's four. him. Oh, so cool. And yeah, there's an Ice Ferret trying to evade here. We have, uh, what's that? Uh, 599 meters on our uh, um, MRM, so that Ice Ferret is not really in a good range here. Now he is, but now he broke line of sight to me. So I cannot help you with that. Ice Ferret too fast for me. Please nerf. Come over here, man. I have machine guns and the flamer for you. Oh, man. But again, I really like the Roughneck. For for its uh, durability. It has so now. much sustain because of the armor quirks, Riding because of the structure quirks, the because of yeah. everything. That is so, so cool. Okay, uh, can we fight fight that? It's a, a lone ice ferret. This is the thing. I wonder what the last one is. So I, I just leave the ice ferret to my buddies there. Target acquired. Mm, do I? Yeah, I cannot do anything. There are so many mechs already closing in. But after that one, we have another one. Hmm. Huh. Where's that guy? And what is it? And uh, how how is he how is he playing right now? Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Noble Savage or Savage. Nice. So, hmm, where are you, man? And what are you up to? AFK. Oh, AFK in Fox Ten. All right. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Running over there when he noticed that Cyclops was shut down. Oh, was it a shutdown? Was it a shutdown? Oh, it was a stick. We called it a stick, left it alone. Oh, okay. We stopped in the middle of battle. Oh, okay. Okay, but th that is actually pretty smart, guys. Um, okay, we are playing skirmish here that uh, takes a while until we uh, actually finish the game, but let me tell you this. Um, ignoring a mech that has no weapons on it anymore is so, so smart. Of course, you could just get an easy kill for your end score, but it doesn't really help out the team because there are still other mechs on the battlefield with weapons and firepower which are scary and you should really focus on them before you go for the targets that are basically just a piece of scrap metal and uh, they, they don't have a relevance on the, on the battlefield anymore. So, smart choice team. I, I really appreciate that. I really do. I wonder if I can get to Fox 10 before my teammates can. No, we got a Cicada and the Viper already running, so I will grant them the kill. So it's perfectly fine here. But yeah, it was a hell of a brawl. I really enjoyed it. And uh, again, little disclaimer here, those are the good ones. I, I think I played like 10 games to get the two that you will get here. So um, be a little bit careful. Um, and again, I wish you all uh, a good team when you're playing such a build like this here, where you really need to hug the enemy down to death with the machine guns and the flamers here. Okay, they got low signal already, which means they are close. He still has an, an ECM running. Oh no, it's an AFK Hellbringer. Oh, it wasn't a Cyclops. It was an AFK Hellbringer. Okay, there we go. Alright, it was a fun round. Nice brawl here. Again, nice follow up from the team. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Let's have a look at the end score. Oh well. Alright, we dealt 821 damage, we got one kill, eight assists, three kill most damage dealt, and six components destroyed. That was the Roughneck, the Huggernaut. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.